What's up everyone? This is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and welcome to the 7th tutorial of Atmega 16. In this tutorial, I will discuss the 16x2 LCD and uh, the LCD library of Micro C Pro for AVR. This is the image of an alphanumeric LCD and this is a 16x2 LCD where 16 is for columns and 2 is for rows. The LCD is also available in 20x4 configuration. So 20 is the number of columns and uh, 4 is the number of rows. This LCD is very common to display alphabets, digits and some other special characters. To interface this type of LCD with any microcontroller, we have to consider the pins of this LCD. The first pin is VSS or ground. The second pin is VDD or positive supply which can be 5V or 3.3V. Third pin is VE or contrast control. Generally a potentiometer is connected to this pin to control the contrast of the LCD. Pin number 4 is register select. Actually there are two type of registers for this LCD. Command register and data register. Fifth pin is the read write pin. So if this pin is low we can write to the LCD or if this pin is high we can read from the LCD. Sixth pin is the enable pin. On this pin we will provide a high to low signal to lash the data into LCD. Pin number 7 to pin number 14, these are 8 data lines for LCD. Pin number 15 and pin number 16, these two are for backlight LED. Uh, let's first place the simulation model for this LCD in Proteus. I have already placed this at Mega 16 on the screen. So to add the LCD in device list, go to component mode, click on P and type 16x2. And you have to select this first package for 16x2 LCD. Double click on it and uh, click on OK. Now select this LCD package and place the LCD on the screen. You can see we have only 14 pins for this simulation package. We don't have pin number 15 and 16 for backlight. Go to terminal mode and uh, select the ground supply. Connect the ground to VSS pin and read write pin of the LCD. Pin number 2 and pin number 3 is not required for simulation so just leave these two pins. Now I will connect this RS pin to one of the controller pin. You can use any pin of the microcontroller. I am using PC0 for RS, PC1 for enable and now there is one more interesting part of this LCD. You can see we have 8 data pins for LCD to provide the data. You have two options. You can use all these data lines for LCD or you can use only the upper 4 pins for the LCD. So if you are using all the pins for LCD data, then the mode will be 8-bit mode or if you are using only the higher 4 bits for LCD data line, then this mode will be a 4-bit four, four mode. I will prefer the 4-bit mode of this LCD because first of all, we don't need to connect 4 low data pins to the microcontroller. So we are saving the pins and the second point is that the micro C library is only for 4 bit mode of the LCD. So in this way you can connect RS enable and D4 to D7 pin of the LCD to any pin of the microcontroller. So remember these pins because we have to declare these connected pins in the program. So let's move to the compiler side create a new project in micro C. I have already created a new project for at mega 16. Now the important part is that we have to include the library for LCD. For that you can go to this library manager, click on it and you can see this LCD library here or this library manager is not shown on the right side, you can go to view and click on library manager. So you can see this LCD library, click on it and these two files are required for this tutorial. So this is the simplest way to add a library in micro C compiler because we don't need to type hash include in the program to add any library just go to library manager and uh, select the library which you want to add in the program. So before going to next step I want to discuss the functions available in LCD library. For that press F1, go to search and type LCD. Now this is the available help for LCD library in the help file of compiler. If you scroll down a little bit you will find these functions for LCD library. So when you click on this first function it will provide the help for this LCD underscore initialize function. We have to declare each and every pin connected to microcontroller like 
For example, where we are connecting the RS pin of LCD, where we are connecting the other pins of the LCD to microcontroller. First type S bit, then space, capital LCD underscore RS, at RS is connected to port C, pin number 0, underscore bit, and at the last semicolon. So in this way, I declare first pin of the LCD for port C, 0. So I have declared all the LCD pins in this format to the microcontroller port. So make sure if you are using a different port of this microcontroller, you have to declare that port in the program. The other thing is that we have to declare the direction of LCD pins to the DDR register of that port. For that type S bit then LCD underscore RS and underscore direction at DDC 0 underscore bit. So guys, in this way, we have to first declare the pins of LCD to the dedicated port of the microcontroller. Now under the main function, first we have to initialize the LCD library. So for that, we have this function LCD underscore INIT. Now we have some other functions for LCD library. Let's first try with this LCD underscore CMD function. So this function is to provide a command to LCD and which type of command we can provide you can see this is a list of available commands to the LCD. The very common command is to clear the LCD. Let's write this command first LCD underscore CMD and the command is underscore LCD underscore clear. Now I want to display some data on LCD for that we have two functions. First is the LCD underscore out function and second one is the LCD underscore CHR function. For CHR function type LCD underscore CHR. Now we have to provide the row location and column location in the function. So first we have two rows. So I can write one or two for row. So if I write one, so this will be the first row of the LCD. Next we have to provide the column location and we have one to 16 columns. So if I write one, this will be the first row and first column of the LCD and underscore chr function will display a single character only so to display a single character we have to type the character in single quotes so that it can be treated as an ascii character type any character and uh, let's see what is the output of simulation go to build and click on build to compile the program and run the simulation you can see we are getting a character d on this lcd and it is displaying on first row and first column and at the last one cursor is blinking so let's first disable this cursor blinking for that we have to write a command and to turn off the cursor this is the command underscore lcd underscore cursor underscore off so again compile the program and go for simulation now you can see there is no cursor blinking after the character because we apply a command to disable the cursor blinking. We are feeding the row and column parameters in the function. So we, whenever we need to change the location of the character, we can change here. Suppose I want to display this character on the second row. So I will change this first parameter for row. And I want to display this character on column location 10. Now you can see the character is moved to second row and column number 10. So in this way, you can display a character at any location on the LCD by using these two parameters. First one is the row location and second one is the column location. Remember that this LCD underscore CHR is only for single character. So if we want to write a complete string like my name, I will use LCD underscore out function. So this out function is for a complete string. So the parameter first two parameters will be same. First one is the row location and second one is the column location. Next you can write a string of characters for that type double quotes and inside these quotes you can write your text. So again compile it. Now we are getting a complete string on the LCD display. So guys this LCD interface was very easy with the help of the library of micro C compiler and don't forget to include this library from the library manager also remember that you can use any port of the microcontroller for lcd interface so try with a different port and different pin configuration for this lcd so stay in touch and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe the channel